my stomach just rumbling. There's a ru oh my computer screen is like a hibernation. Okay, there we go. It's back. Anyway, yeah. So I I was confused as to why he wasn't really moving anywhere. That's what I was a little bit confused by. So I just keep on trying. I just keep on trying. So don't give up. I don't know what I was trying to suction in there. To be honest, I don't know what I was trying to do here either. Oh, that's right. No, okay. Whatever you put into that pipe uh, it goes into the lantern, so you could actually get rid of the glow goo that way. I completely forgot about that. Never mind. I was about to start ridiculing myself. What? <laughs> oh, silly me. Have more faith in yourself. So once you get rid of the glow goo in that little area over there, you can you can leave the light fluoro right under there, and that should do the trick. Yep, that did the trick. So we have captured his essence, his very soul itself. Start spinning the wheel, absorb him. I am sorry, my friend, but you are the last fluoro that will ever have to puncture and absorb. You're the very last one. You are the last seed that we'll get in this game. As far as I know, unless there's a mysterious sixth seed that I have not seen at this point, but I would highly doubt that there's a sixth seed. But, you know, maybe, maybe. Haven't gotten through the entire game yet, so it's a possibility. But there it is. There's our light fluoro seed. It kind of looks like a maggot to me with a lantern. An angler maggot. Anyway, so here I am once again trying to get the combinations for that achievement. And I think this is actually where I get that achievement. So <laughs> he runs away before I can suck him back up. But yeah, I do think this is where I get the achievement. Let's find out. Come on, come on. And he has a dark fluoro eye too, because I had one of those in my tank. And they keep on running over there before I can actually get their liquids back. But let's see. Let's see. Actually, no, I think I have to 24 combinations in this little segment here. And then I get the achievement later, possibly. I'll find out. I don't really remember. I recorded this a few days ago. I like. Five to six days ago, I would think. And I'm only just now getting to to commentating over it. Here I am checking my achievement list. And I'm letting it go up. But anyway, we have the necessary materials to go ahead and do this puzzle down here. So let's go and do it. Of course, we're going back to that previous puzzle later. Because we have to... Oh yeah, there's the achievement there, right there, actually, up, the, up in the upper right-hand corner. There it is. What was it called? Doctor of Hydrofluoric Sciences or something? I don't know. Can't really see on the screen. But this puzzle is actually a little bit tricky, too, until you actually figure out how it's done. Once you do figure it out, it's actually pretty easy to to get the, uh, what's the word? What's the word? To execute your plan, I guess. Because in this game, I was actually reading a few reviews in this game, and one of the biggest complaints that people had in this game was that although the puzzles were pretty, pretty innovative and interesting, the problem they had was even once they had figured out what the actual solution to the puzzle was, it was pretty difficult to actually get it done in some puzzles. And I have to agree with that. Not so much this puzzle, but with the next one. Even if you do figure out exactly what you need to do, to complete the puzzle, it can be slightly difficult to carry that out, even if you're doing everything exactly right. And that is a little bit iffy in a puzzle game, because the, the puzzly part is trying to figure it out, not trying to do it. It's the brain work, not the hand work, you know? And when they make it a little bit difficult like that, it just doesn't work very well. But anyway, I spent a few minutes trying to figure this one out. Probably about eight more minutes, actually. I might have been better off cutting this out, but we want the video to be half an hour, so yeah. I don't know why my voice just went by like that. I don't know. I'm hungry. Who cares? So the goal here is to get rid of those two doors blocking the ladder path there. But how are we going to do that exactly? Obviously, we need to harness both light and dark fluoros, but how would we do that? How would we do that? So I'll just let my past self kind of be confused for a little bit. 
I'm kind of getting the hang of it right here. As you can see, they're both on the outer edges of the screen. Whenever I'm standing still, you can see my, my brain working there. But I believe what I wanted to do is get them both on perspective sides. I'll pull the switch. No, I won't pull the switch yet. Maybe I'll do that first. Oh yeah, what you want to do, I believe, is... Let me actually think about this. Let me think about this. Yeah, okay, what you want to do is get them both on the inner edges, like so. Like so. Then pull that switch. And... Oh no, I did it completely wrong, though. <laughs> I forgot that you actually have to have the other outer two switches. Oh no, they're both dying, too. I had the right idea there, though. You want to have them both on the inner portion of their little areas down there. And... Oh, geez, how did it work again? Have the outers... Have the outer lights the opposite of what I had them just before. So have the... Yeah, have them like that, basically. Exactly like that, except that one on the right needs to be off. Yeah, why am I not turning that off? Come on. Alright, yes, exactly. So they need to be both the same on each side, right? So go in the middle. Right, well, yeah, we'll go make more fluoro seeds, of course, because we can't do this without them. So put the light fluoro seed in the area that has two light switches on, and vice versa for the dark area. And everything will go according to plan. And that Fluoro's water just broke. Did you see that? I saw that. Anyway, now that they're both formed, we'll flip the switch and make them both run the other way at the same time, simultaneously. Oh yeah, and I forgot, those only stay open for barely any time at all. And here I was like, oh, I really didn't even realize that I couldn't climb down that ladder yet. And that those switches would stay open for just a very brief amount of time. So I don't know why I just did that right there. But <laughs> I think what I figured out is I have to restart here. To restart, you actually have to kill the fluoros by pressing these switches and crushing them to death, even though they're just water and they can't technically be crushed. Oh, yeah, the fluoro manity. So we're going to try that again. Get both switches like so. But once they run past the area, what we're going to have to do is drop a seed down that little middle area there. Oh, jeez, I messed up there. Anyway, once, the, once those two doors open, we'll have a very, very brief opportunity to drop a seed down there. And if you can see, there's a little bit of a water jet down there. Right below where that light fluoro is. So we'll drop a seed down there. Once we can. And it should be attracted to that switch. And by should, I mean will. So, there you go. Actually, yeah, what I wanted to do first off is go and do that. And hurry up and drop it, and perfect. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. That's a big fluoro. I don't know. Is water broken? And now that door's open so we can get through and climb down our ladder to our next area. Like I said, that wasn't actually an extractor puzzle. That was just, that was just a puzzle to progress in the area. That didn't take as long as I remembered, though, so that's cool. That's pretty cool. The next little bit is traveling as well. Here I am, kind of confused about where I should go, thinking I should maybe teleport back, but then I realized I don't want to do that puzzle again, so I was just attempting to go back, or progress on to the next warp point, which is right here. This is the next extractor. So if I so desired, I could warp back to puzzle number three or four, and then just come back here when I was done with the other two. But I decide as long as I'm here, I am just going to do this one. So this one, this puzzle right here is probably the most clever one that I've seen in the game as of now. I think it's really cool. But at the same time, this is one of those puzzles that's hard to carry out even if you know exactly what you're supposed to do. Now, the reason I brought up my achievements right here is because it's an achievement called If My Calculations Are Correct. Now, what that's for is this puzzle. It says something about guiding light and dark fluoros precisely to get through the puzzle in the mines. That's exactly what you have to do here. But I didn't really realize what I had to do with the time. I did 
realize it had to do with this puzzle, though. That this puzzle had to do with that achievement. I don't know where I'm actually going right now. Oh, I was trying to restart. That's right. That's right! Oh my goodness gracious! Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm standing there trying to figure out what to do. Because it's actually a little bit difficult to figure out. But once you do figure it out, it's pretty cool. I like the idea of what they did here. I do like it, but let me just give myself a minute to figure it out. My past self, my non-post-commentary self. My present... well, no, not even my present commentary self. He's gone forever. At least at the time of that video. That one's gone. Now it's just me! Ha! See who lived on now? Right, so what you want to do? First off, let's get a light fluoro right there. Get him going. Now he's going to be attracted to that light to the right. So obviously he can't jump up little platforms like that. He'll be attracted there. Now, if you turn off that light, all he can do is walk around and die. Which means his water is going to fall through that grate once he does die, like so. And down into that pit. Now here was like, oh, wait a second. What if I drop another light for the OC? But that's not what you want to do there. That's not what you want to do. Because for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, they've set up lights on the second and fourth row there, as you can see on the right-hand sides. So the light fluoros are completely content standing where they are. They have no problem staying in that light, and you can't turn that light off. So, hmm, what to do now? I don't know. If you can see in those little tubes there, there's a little bit of air suctioning any liquid that you try to put in there. So you can't actually, like, put a, a fluoro seed down in the bottom row and then throw liquid down there and have him form down there and then just do that. You actually have to guide him through each and every row here. So the question is, how are you going to get liquid to the fluoros once they die and fall through the grate? Because they do have to die and fall through the grate. And my Sony Vegas just turned to a black screen, which really blows because now I can't see what the hell is happening, which is just fantastic. Let me see if I can fix that. If not, I'm just going to have to blabber on about something for a little bit. Let me see if I can do that. No, that didn't work at all. Well, okay, I'm just going to have to talk about how to actually do this then, because I can't see anything. Actually, I'll just explain. Sometimes in Sony Vegas, if you're, if you're watching a video back, at least on my computer, it shows a black screen, even though the footage is perfectly good. And the black screen won't appear in the video. It's just there in the playback thing for whatever reason. But uh, that's why I can't see anything right now. Anyway, I'll just explain how this works. I'm probably doing the correct solution as we speak. What happens is you have to go get a light fluoro on the first row. Let it disintegrate through the grate. Then drop a dark fluoro seed in the next little tube there. And have that combined with the remains of the previous fluoro. Now you push that fluoro to the other side. Make him run to the left and he'll fall through, then you have to put a light fluoro seed there, and just keep on recycling the fluoro's remains, and keep on turning them into different fluoros. And I think that's really clever, how you use the remains of a different fluoro, but you turn it into a completely different thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty clever, really. But even if you do do things perfectly, they still tend to disintegrate. I guess it's just because some of their liquid, and their water falls through the grate before they actually die and it doesn't collect with the other seed so each seed has each subsequent seed has less water and eventually once you get to the bottom they're just barely they're barely together but so um, you know eventually you keep trying that solution because that is the correct solution and they will all come together and my screen's back yay I can actually see again so here I am putting the light fluoro seed right down there Right down there. Now the achievement for doing this, you have to do this without letting go of the switch. Because the achievement says do this all in one go, and you have to do it all without letting go of the switch. Now I didn't do that on camera here, and I'm not going to, but I'm telling you how to do it. What you have to do is you have to put light fluoro seeds on the tubes to the left. You have to put those down and put dark fluoro seeds on the tubes to the right. Put that down before you do anything else. Then, you go down that ladder and make the light fluoro seed, and then you grab onto the switch and guide the fluoros that way. 
without ever letting go of the switch. Now, since you've already put the seeds down there, you won't have to go and let go of the switch and throw the seeds down the tubes because they're already there. So all you have to do is switch the lights on and off and guide them. Unfortunately, I wasn't that efficient in this video and I did it the slower way, like so, by just uh, stopping every time they formed and and throwing a new seed down the tube and my screen just went black again. That's freaking fantastic. But that's how you do it. That is indeed how you do it. And this is our successful run here. So that made me feel pretty good once I had accomplished this. And off camera I went ahead and got the achievement for doing this in all one go. It's actually pretty simple if you if you've already solved the puzzle before. So there you go, that's all there is to it. I would imagine at this point I've I already flipped that switch and gotten through to the extractor. Can't really see because my screen's black again, but <laughs> regardless, that's how you do it. So you run over to the extractor. I just heard the door open there. You run over to the extractor, and like all the other ones, you just kill the floros that are halting the progress. And you push the little pendulum guy there back and forth, and you get the thing moving like so. And that's the second to last extractor in the mines. Only one more machine. Wait, I'm sorry, excuse me. This is wrong video for that. This might be only the second extractor that we've done properly so far, but we will get the other ones done. We will, don't you worry. But that'll be the end of the video. Excuse me for not being the best at post-commentary. And there's my screen back. Excuse me for that. I'm not the best at it. It's not my style. But I had to give it a shot. So anyway, here we are back again. We'll take on this puzzle next time where I return to normal present tense commentary where I figure stuff out on camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next set. Goodbye.